Michaela is now performing a duplex arterial lower extremity exam in this male patient. Duplex ultrasonography of upper and lower extremity arteries is performed to provide an overview of the location, extent, and severity of vascular diseases. Lower extremity Doppler arterial evaluation is performed from the iliac arteries through the tibial vessels and even extended into the foot. While the upper extremity ultrasound can be performed from subclavian arteries down to a patient's wrist. Sites of suspected stenosis are evaluated with Doppler measurements proximal to, within, and distal to maximum stenoses. Duplex imaging determines the plaque length in arterial segments and patency of distal vessels. Arterial imaging will also help determine if claudication is associated with arterial disease or perhaps musculoskeletal or neuropathic reasons. A controlled trial of the effectiveness of imaging procedures suggests that the results of duplex ultrasound were comparable to those of contrast angiography in terms of surgical planning and outcome. Evaluation or follow-up of patients with claudication, ischemic, rest pain, and or arterial ulceration is very adequately and sensitively assessed with ultrasound exam. Again, ultrasound of the arteries can be performed in patients with documented arterial disease, pre-procedure assessment for planning of intervention, follow-up to determine the adequacy of prior surgical interventions such as angioplasty or stent placement, follow-up to bypass grafts, evaluation for aneurysms, pseudoaneurysms or arterial venous fistulas, evaluation for arterial tra trauma, and very important from clinical exam from the primary care physician would be patients who present with diminished or absent pulses, diabetes, skin or nail infections, skin color changes or ulcerations, hair loss in the distal extremities, gangrene, extreme weakness or fatigue, vasomotor instability or numbness. Once again, arterial Doppler is very useful in assessing patients who have known peripheral vascular disease or suspected peripheral vascular disease and those patients who are diabetics or have long-term smoking histories. These patients are most at risk for peripheral vascular disease. Ultrasound is a safe, non-invasive way of determining extent and presence of disease and no ionizing radiation is needed. There is no patient preparation needed for this exam.